So, well, congratulations. How are uh, you feeling? Thanks. I feel great. You know, uh, I was coming in here for the finish, and uh, you know, he made me earn that finish, but we got it. Were you surprised at how long it took for the referee to stop that fight? Because I think a lot of us were. Uh, no, you know, I got to rewatch the fight, but I knew that, uh, you know, Valdez was like a tough, like uh, Mexican fighter with a lot of heart, and he just had that patented Mexican fighter heart, and uh, he wasn't going to quit, and, and he fought till the end, and, uh, you know, I earned that finish. And did I hear them say that your coach wasn't in your corner and he had to go back? That right? Yeah, uh, Longo wasn't able to make it. He was supposed to come out, but uh, he didn't make it because he got sick. And uh, But, you know, he was with us in spirit, and uh, I got to have my twin brother in my corner for the first time, and he was all pumped about it. So was that, how was that different going into fight week without him? Were you able to adjust, or was it something you, you kind of you needed him more for the fight? Or you know, We, we like? talked on the phone all week, and, uh, you know, before I left on Monday, we had a great session, and uh, we've been working all camp, and... He put a lot into me this camp, and I really put all my trust in him. And uh, he believed in me when, you know, sometimes I didn't believe in myself. And uh, it really gave me the, the motivation to, to, you know, really come out here and, and perform and, and get this win. You know, I, I owe a lot to my, my coaches, all my coaches, you know, Ray Longo, Matt Arroyo, Matt Serra, uh, you know, everybody who supports me and helps me, uh, I, owe, I owe this all to. Have you spoken to him yet? No, not yet. I've been uh, running around from media to pictures to, I still got to kind of watch that fight. <laughs> you know, like they're telling me, I guess I dropped him like five times. So uh, I got to watch it and it's, it's all starting to really sink in. But, uh, you know, we got it done. What do you think he's going to think of your performance? Uh, I think he's going to be, he's going to be pumped. You know, he's going to be pumped that we got the win. Then the end of the day, uh, that's what we needed. We needed to get the win. You know, that was the last fight on my contract. I needed this fight. I needed this win to keep the dream alive. And that's how, you know, I'm blessed to be able to train every day, have martial arts be my life. And, uh, you know, I needed to, this win to keep that going. And, and we got it done. So what's next? Do you have an opponent in mind? A time you want to come back? <laughs> you know, uh, I want to stay busy this year. And, uh, like I said before, you know, I got into the UFC with six pro fights. You know, that was my seventh fight in the UFC. I've got more than half of my professional fights in that octagon at the highest level. And, uh, you know, a lot of my beginning fights, I was learning on the job. And I think it's all starting to come together. You know, this UFC fight week is, is feeling normal now. I've done it seven times now. Um, and it's all starting to come together. You know, it wasn't... A, you know, I have to rewatch the fight. It wasn't as technical as I wanted it to be, but uh, I've got that killer instinct, and uh, I'm I'm still you know learning to hone it and to calculate it, and uh, you know it's not a bad problem to have. So we're getting there. Thank you, Matt. We're here. Uh, your four knockdowns in that round actually ties the UFC record. I think Josh Emmett said it uh, a couple like a couple years ago. So what's your uh, reaction to now being atop a UFC record list? Uh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's great, you know, I'm, that's what I'm here to do is to, uh, you know, do things that no one's done before and, and put on great fights and uh, get big wins and, you know, hopefully that was a bonus performance uh, victory. You said it wasn't as technical as you, as you had hoped it was, but you came out pretty hot in the first round and he seemed more than happy to oblige. Was that part of the game plan or did you just, the emotions just hit you right out of the gate and you just went in for the kill immediately? You know, uh, I was went in there with trying to be patient. That was like I was, I was, I was trying to be patient in there. Uh, but you know, the killer instinct came out. I, I heard him, and I smelled blood, and I went for the finish. And and he was coming at me, and and uh, you know, like I said, I'm still learning on the job, and uh, you know, the best is still yet to come. And it was there. Is there at any point in that fight, like you, every time you dropped him, he was immediately trying to climb back to his feet. That maybe in the back of your mind, you're like, maybe pull my foot off the gas so you don't just burn yourself out after trying to to finish him. Because you, as people are saying, like the referee probably could have stopped it a few times, but he kept climbing to his feet. So did you have to maybe tell yourself to pull pull back a little bit? Uh, no, that never came to my mind. <laughs> but one, you know, when I was on top of him. I did think like, you know, he's tough. Uh, let's work our jujitsu. Let's get a choke. 
And uh, I think that's when I got my hooks in. I flattened him out. I started fighting for the choke, but then he started turning and defending the choke. And then at that point, I was just, you know, let's keep pounding him. Let's keep pounding him and, uh, you know, let's get the finish. And we got it. Matt, you're far right. Colin Crandall, MMA Power Hour. Congratulations on a great performance. You got rocked uh, once, possibly twice. What were you thinking, and or were you ever in a lot of danger uh, either time? No, I don't think I was in a lot of danger. Uh, I got to rewatch the fight, honestly. But, uh, yeah, you know, he landed, I want to say he maybe landed an elbow. Um, but Knee as well, I think. Yeah, knee too. Um, but, you know, I was, I was good, and I was firing back. And... Uh, and yeah, you know, it was a great fight. I think that you put two dogs in there and uh, you're going to get a great fight. Absolutely. Did he feel different than what you expected in any way as far as speed or durability, grappling, striking? No, I didn't feel much different. I knew he was tough. I knew he would uh, come out there hard, going hard, going for the finish. He's, he had, has got a lot of finishes. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I have the experience. I have the octagon experience, and, and I think that showed tonight. Absolutely. Last one for me. You've had some great fights. You've also been that guy that's willing to fight anyone at any time, even on super short notice. Uh, so you had some fights that didn't quite go your way. This was a big, important fight. Going into it, what, what does a guy think when he's, when he's coming to a fight that's so important than this? Do you try not to think about it? Do you talk about it with your camp? What, what was your thought and your attitude in the weeks leading up to this matchup? Um, just like any other fight, every, every fight's big a fight. You know? And... Uh, it's always the next fight is always the biggest fight, especially at this level. So, uh, yeah, that's I just looked at it as another big UFC fight on a big, you know, UFC 270 big pay per view card. And uh, I'm every time I step into this octagon, I'm looking to put on a show. I'm looking to get a big win, and uh, and we did that tonight. Another guy uh, steamrolled by the steamroller. Yeah, right. That Good sounds, work. Yeah, that sounds about right. Thanks. Matt, over here to your left. How you doing, bro? Good. How you Congratulations. Doing? Um, obviously, you did phenomenally there, but i got to say it was also very impressive how quickly Valdez was getting back up to his feet. Were you surprised by how active he was every time he dropped him at getting back up to his feet? Uh, it, no, it didn't surprise me, but, um, you know, a couple times I kind of folded him over, and then, and then you know, he, he did kept, like, like, turtling up, and I was pounding him, and then he was fighting up. But, uh, you know, I, like I said, I knew he was tough. I knew he was, you know, he's undefeated a lot of finishers. He was not going down without a fight. And I, I expected that. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way at this level. I'm, I'm trying to fight tough guys like that. And he was a tough guy. And uh, he made me earn that victory, which, which is what we did. Hey, uh, Matt, right here in your right, right here. Uh, Valdez, he's from, uh, his camp is in Tijuana, right? But uh, he was born in Los Cabos, Baja California. I was talking to him yesterday. He was saying that he wanted to, you know, have a, have a good debut, make uh, his first W. He didn't make it, but he said also that he wanted to make that uh, $50,000 bonus. Do you think you guys deserve that one? Yeah, I do. I think uh, that was a great fight, you know, of uh, yeah, that was a crazy fight. Like again, I, I need to go back and rewatch it, but I think we both earned fifty grand for that, you know. And uh, he 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 earned it, I earned it, and uh, yeah, you know, I've been where he's been. I when I first got to the UFC, I was undefeated coming off the Contender Series, and uh, you know, I got knocked out in my first UFC debut, and it was my first loss, and. Uh, you know, this is his first loss, so I've been where he's been. I'm, I've felt what he's felt, and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to make or break him. You know, he's got two, two roads to choose. You could either, you know, build off this loss and really come back stronger, which I, I feel he will. You know, he's got a great team around him. Uh, so, you know, I wish the best for him. Hey, I'm going to do this in Spanish and English, okay, if you don't mind. Uh, you fought two Mexicans already. You uh, fought against uh, Polo Reyes. And now you fought uh, Rayadito. Uh, has peleado con dos mexicanos, con Polo Reyes y con Rayadito Valdés. Uh, ¿Qué piensas de los peleadores mexicanos y el futuro de ellos? What do you think about Mexican fighters and the future about, about them? Uh, 
Oh, I mean, they're tough as nails. You know, they've got that, that grit in them. You know, they've got, uh, you always hear the Mexican boxers. And I think Valdez is the new age uh, Mexican MMA fighter. You know, even when I had him hurt, I was going for chokes and I could feel him turning out the right way, defending the chokes the correct way. Um, I think he's a new age Mexican MMA fighter. And uh, I think there's a lot of them going to be coming up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys.